Moomoo is going to give you 10 free fractional shares of the Magnificent Seven stocks. Apple, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, Alphabet, NVIDIA, and Tesla. When you open a new Moomoo brokerage account, put at least $100 in that brokerage account. They're going to give you 10 free fractional shares of the Magnificent Seven. There's a link down in the description box. Go click on that link, guys. Open up your new Moomoo account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Go check out the new website, the Richard Fane Millionaire Mentor website. It's the second link down in the description box. Take a look at those fantastic digital products we have designed to help you get to your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Also, join the membership club. We're going to be doing some fantastic stuff in the membership club, all geared towards getting you to your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. People who are consumers don't create generational wealth, guys. Only investors. Investors create generational wealth, not consumers. So you choose. You can be entertained and be a consumer for the rest of your life. That's one choice. Or you can be educated, become an investor. Those are your two choices. There ain't no in between. It's either investor or consumer. You choose. Hopefully today, I'm talking to people that want to be investors. And we're going to start with the hundred bucks. You're going to take that hundred bucks and you're going to start buying assets. I've already gave you two if you've been listening. Maybe some of you just chop, jumping in. I gave you two investments already with $100. You can start becoming an investor and building assets, right? You can. Number one, if you want to build assets like real estate in the portfolio, you can do that through Vanguard Real Estate ETF VNQ. With 100 bucks, you now own companies that own the best real estate in America. They own the most prime and productive real estate in America in that fund. They're called real estate investment trusts, REITs, right? That's short for real estate investment trusts. If you want to own real estate with a hundred bucks and you want that as part of your portfolio to build your assets, there you go. Vanguard, Real Estate, ETF, VNQ. That is your real estate until you get yourself in a position where if you want to buy on your own. But if you don't want to do that and you just want to have some real estate in the portfolio, then go to Vanguard. Buy their ETF. Okay, VNQ is cool, but I also want to be in the broader stock market. I want to be in that too. I don't just want real estate. I want a little real estate, but I also want... The, the, the broader stock market with my hundred bucks, then you can go buy SPLG, which is an S&P 500 ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index. So there you go. With a hundred bucks, you can start buying assets. If you like tech, then of course, my recommendation is to go into FTEC, which is an information technology ETF on the Fidelity platform. That's one of the ones that I buy as part of my wealth transfer blueprint over the next 10 years. So I buy SPLG, which is the S&P 500, right? That's trading at about $58 a share. And then I buy FTEC, which is my technology ETF, which is trading at about $151 a share. So a little more than $100 we're gonna start out with, but my goal would be to continue to buy that. And then the last piece of the wealth transfer blueprint, copy my plan that I'm investing in and that you could mirror if you want to is the Magnificent Seven, right? Now, $100 won't get you all of that, right? It won't get you all of that unless you buy fractional shares, you can get into it, right? But, but what I would recommend people focus on is one investment when you're just starting. Now, if you're already on your way 
and, and, and already in your wealth transfer blueprint, you're, 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 you're either copying my plan or you created your own plan and you're well on your way and you're, you're putting in three, four, five hundred dollars a month, then yes, you can do the three that I'm doing. But if you're just starting out and you got a hundred bucks, then I recommend you just stick with the S&P 500, which is SPLG. Just stick with that for now. Right. You can take your hundred dollars and you can start buying into SPLG. The goal here, guys, is, is we got to get our income level up so that we can invest more. And the goal would be, OK, I start out with one hundred dollars, but in 90 days, I want to be at two hundred dollars. An additional 90 days, I want to be at three hundred dollars. An additional 90 days, I want to be at four hundred dollars. Right. So I want to go from one hundred dollars to four hundred dollars a month within the span of a year. That's what I want to do if I'm a beginner and I'm just starting out at this thing. So how do I go from one hundred dollars a month investing to four hundred dollars a month investing? I got to make more income. That's how you do it, guys. There's no secret sauce. You have to make more income. So if right now your budget only allows you to put $100 into transitioning from a consumer to an investor, if it only allows you 100 bucks, that tells me you need more income. Right? Either more income or you need to reduce your expenses. Now, reducing expenses in my opinion is not enough to get us to financial freedom. We can reduce our expenses all we want, but it, it, it typically typically won't be enough to get you in to that investor realm to be to able to generate enough income to get to freedom. So what we normally have to do is a combination of the two. Right. I got to I got to watch my expenses, reduce my expenses, but I got to also increase my income. I'm always looking to increase my income. Because I know the more income that I can put into these investments, guess what? The more I can become an investor and build wealth. The more money I can put into these investments, the better off I can be. Remember, we talked about SPLG. It did 20% ROI last year. So if I had $100 in SPLG at 20%, it's going to be lower, you know, it's going to be lower then if I had $1,000 and I got that 20% in SPLG. So the more money I can put in, the better off I am to build wealth, right? And like I said, over the last 10 years, SPLG is in that 11 to 12% range on a 10-year average, which is phenomenal, guys, because the rule of 72 says this. If I can get a 10% rate of return on my money, I can double it every seven years. So if I got $100,000 in SPLG and I can get at least a 10% rate of return over those seven year, over a seven year period, my $100,000 goes to 200,000. If I can get another 10% over the next seven years, my 200,000 goes to 400,000. And then if I can get another 10% for the third set of seven years, my 400,000 goes to 800,000. That's the rule of 72. That's what I use, guys, over the last 25 years to build my wealth is the rule of 72. I would always go out and look for investments where I could get at least 8 to 10 percent return on my money. Because if I knew if I could do that, I could double my net worth every seven years. Years And a lot of people, where are you going to get a 10% rate of return? S&P 500. How do you know that? Because it already has done it. It's already done it. It's already done it. What, it, it. It's done it already over the last 10 years. <laughs> and over the last 90 years, it's done between 7 and 10% 7 and over the last 90 years. So that's why I'm telling you, for you guys who are just starting out, there's no better investment than an S&P 500 ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index. Now, you got to buy the right one. And I think SPLG is one of the best ones. Right. I think it's one of the best ones out there pound for pound. There are many more out there. So you don't have to go SPLG if you don't want to go with it, whatever you want to go with. But I'm telling you, the one that I think pound for pound, at least the one that I'm buying is going to be SPLG. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you 
through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.